Hello cello and bass players. This video is for moving into week six. We just finished week five and now we're moving forward. This week uh, we are going to start reading notes on the D string. So in the packet that I provided for you, you want to be going to page five. And as you are on page five, you're looking at number 1.1. And you will see that this entire page is D and E, and that is yellow E, first finger on the D string. I'm not gonna coach you through it this week. You know how to do that. You always say the line first. One, two, three, four, one, two, red D say, and then you will slay it. One, two, three, four, one, two, red D slay. And remember when you are playing and slaying, your eyes are on the page. You don't want to be looking at your left hand, strong hand. You don't want to be looking at that because what ends up happening is that you end up pulling your, your, um, the neck of your instrument over too far and you really mess up what's going on over here with your left hand. So we want to keep everything real close um, and ready to, to go. So again, that's page five. So if you're a bass player, it's B5. And if you're a cello player, it's C5. The other part of this week is this is our first Bovember. Um, legit, here we go, let's get going with the bow. We've been practicing with the straw, and if you recall, with your, um, this is your ready, let's rock hand, um, we've got our, our crinkles in our fingers, so from here to here, and we bend that thumb, and we flip it over, and our fingers are down just like so. Well, we're gonna take this project, and we're gonna apply it to your bow. Now, before, we actually touch this bow. We got to have a little conversation. Your bow has this lovely white strands of stuff on it. And actually what that is called is it's horse hair. It's from his tail. Now here's the thing about horse hair. We can't touch it. And the reason that we don't want to touch it is because we need it to be sticky. Um, and the reason we need it to be sticky is so that it will grab the strings. If we're touching it, the dirt in our hands and the oil in our hands get in it and it makes it not sticky. And so we want to make sure we're not touching that. But with your bow, what we're going to do this week, I'm going to show it on a bass bow and a cello bow. But you should be able to see on your bow, I have placed two dots. Hopefully one is green and one is white. And if they're not both, if they're if they're both white, that's okay too. But we're gonna go from the um, the green dot. And what you're gonna do with your uh, left hand strong hand, you're going to grab the bow by the side where you've got that first dot. Um, this part right here is called the tip. So we're gonna go with the dot that's closest to the tip and we're just gonna hold it in this hand and we're just helping to support it so that we don't have to do a lot of work. Now, the other thing you're gonna do is we're gonna take our Ready Let's Rock hand, remember the crinkles, okay? We're gonna take our crinkles and our pinky is gonna go on the first, on the, on the, the dot that's down here that's green. And it's close to this part of the, the bow that is called the frog. So as we go to get this set, we're going to start here on this first dot. So again, there's the crinkle. I'm going to put the crinkle there and the crinkle here. And then my thumb is behind. And that's what we're going to do. Right behind my second finger. And it's bent right here. And I'm holding it here. You're going to see that it's, it's going to get heavy on this side, which is why I'm having you hold it here. We're getting used to how to hold the bow. Now this isn't the final resting spot for our hand, but we're just getting it on the stick for now. So again, pinky's here, find that crinkle, put it on that dot, and line up your other finger. Thumb is behind it. Remember the bent thumb, that thumb that's coming at you this way. We want a banana split, not a banana thumb. Okay, here it is again, pinky on the dot, around, around, thumb is bent, ta-da, and you're hanging on to it just like this. Okay, so again, the tip is this way, and you're this way. Um, and actually, if I were to mirror you, remember, I'm gonna flip it this way. So now we'll be in mirror. Oh boy, this rad spinner's brain's gotta work real hard now. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it with this hand. And then this is my, again, this is my ready, let's rock hand. Pinky at the crinkle, pointer, crinkle, here. Thumb is bent, just like this. 
So we should be mirroring each other right now. Ta-da! Okay, so that is what we're working on, okay? So again, this piece here is called the frog. It's weird, I don't know, it just is. Let's just go with it. This is the frog, this part up here is the tip. And then all of this stuff here, that's the horse hair that we don't touch. Grabbing it on the top dot. And then Pinky's going on the lower dot, close to the frog. Around, bend your thumb. And if you can, eventually get it to a spot where you can just let go and you can support that. Remember, we've got that, that little spot left here. I see you. All the way through, okay? So when you get your bow out of the case, which it probably already is, because I know you, it should be out anyway, because if your instrument is unpacked, you take the, the bow out first. Um, here's a bass bow, a bit bigger, big frog. And then holding it here, and pinky on that dot, around, and here, and then eventually supporting it like that, keeping it nice and level. And then, you could even go so far as once you've got, you're able to hold it here, you could put it down in front of your, in front of your belly button. And then up above your head, down, up, down, just to get some good balance. All right, that is it for this week. Page five, bow hand. Happy November. See y'all soon.